ideas came in from everywhere. Some good, some kind of odd. There was a big proponent for roses, rose patterns, Mm -hmm. because of the rose city. I found that to be more appropriate, perhaps, for a hotel ballroom than the airport. It was too Portland-centric. So then mountains and waves became Mm -hmm. an interest. But again, that was uh, Western Oregon, but it wasn't reflecting the geographic diversity that we have throughout Oregon. One was clouds and raindrops, which for obvious reasons was rejected. So our team started to look at things that were less representational and more symbolic. My interest was in finding something that had some motion and movement. And I had to work not only just under your feet, but you looked across great expanses of these concourses. So it had to have some interest at a very large scale as well. And as we were looking at those geometries, someone said, gee, that kind of looks like the screens of the control tower where airplanes are X's and runways were little diamond patterns. It took off, that idea took off. So uh, I don't mean that as a pun. Now it's not literally anything you would see on a, in the control tower. I'm sure the control tower operators look at it and say, what? But we were inspired by that concept and became more of a symbol that could be interpreted in hundreds of ways. So we were never intending it to be a realistic pattern, but one that was really interesting and colorful close up and created that large scale that worked in huge areas as well. To, to think it can come back and still be popular 40 years later is just a, a proud moment. 